Kunda Namsanje, it's Sashugo Seres Pozo. We will read today chapter 8 in the book of John. We will start from verse 30 to verse 32. It is, it is Jesus. That is what the heading is saying. Jesus responding to the Jews about Abraham. It reads as follows, as he spake this word, many believed on him, then said Jesus to the Jews, which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples, you are my disciples indeed. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. This tells us that the people who know the truth are the people who are continuing in the word of, law of the God. Because the word of God is the word of Jesus Christ. Because he is the messenger of God. That which he brings to mankind is not something that he speaks from himself. It's what God says through him. When God is speaking, being in him, those who are listening to him and do his word, the reason here for us to speak about his word, it is because his word is not one thing. It's a multiple of things that he says, but all those are based on one thing, which is God. That is why we say it is his word. That is why when you read the book of John going down, it says, if you are dwelling in my words and do them, you will ask for anything and it shall be done for you. This word of him is one word that comes from God. That is why you hear him saying, All things that I say unto you are not coming from me, but coming from my Father. That which God tells me, I speak unto you. In other words, Jesus Christ, there's nothing that he says to people. The person who speaks and say things to people, it is God through Jesus Christ. He says, if you continue in my word, you shall be my disciples. In other words, if you are not continuing in his word, you are not his disciple. He then says, you shall know the truth. In other words, you are unable to know the truth if you are not a disciple. Disciples. And you cannot be a disciple if you are not continuing in the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
The Lord Jesus Christ, when you read from the book of Matthew, 10, verse 40, chapter 10, verse 40, he says to his apostles, those who have heard us, have heard me, and the Father who has sent me. In other words, now these words, it's been taken and put inside the apostles. If you hear them, you have heard the Lord Jesus. Christ, and his father also. In other words, now, the word that you need to continue on is the word of this apostle. For these apostles, he took now time and taught them. After he taught them, and they accepted the word, he then sent them out to go and spread the this word. It means therefore, when you believe in that word, you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are dwelling in that word, you are dwelling in Jesus Christ. The problem is this. It might happen you are an apostle, but you are not a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. There are many people, others anoint them to become apostles in their own churches. But there's one question that says, Is it indeed an apostle of Jesus Christ? Because if he's not an apostle of Jesus Christ, he will not know the truth. If he's an apostle of Jesus Christ, we'll see him being a disciple. A disciple is the person who is dwelling in the word. When you learn, you'll dwell in the word. You learn to dwell in the word. You don't learn to, 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 to stay in the word. The question now says, Where is the difference between the word and the word? Jesus Christ says, When he speaks to Peter, in the Matthew chapter 6, verse 16, he says, Logo Ukshoyo, my bosut batabantu banatilo. After he asked the question, who do people say I am? And Peter says, you are Christ, the son of the living God. He says, that which you are saying does not come from you. In other words, the one who is speaking is the word who created you and me does not come from you. It comes from the Father that which you it is only the Father who knows the Son. In other words, the people who have the Word of God, they know the Son. For the Son is the way and the life that is eternal. Is the way and the truth and the eternal life. They know the Son. The people who have the word of God, for they are dwelling and continuing the word. Peter, among all the apostles, was the only man who has the word. You see, as we speak about the Bible, when we speak about the Bible, you might think that that which is written in the Bible is not happening now. At the time that we are in now, God says, take here is ATM. At the time that you were called to this church, you said, yes. Yes, it is this one. That same word that called you here 
It says now. Now is Tebe Sarko. Here is the plate. Now is Tebe. Here is is the plate of your own blessings. We are preparing you the table in front of your enemies. You say yourself that I will die from politicians. I will, I did not come here for this. I was here for the church. I will. As he was called, he said, this is indeed the one. Now, when it is said that here is the plate of the table, it has couple of things from which is painful to eat from. Even when you come to the Thanksgiving, they are saying that politicians will come and destroy us. It is said, slaughter and eat. And he said, I don't eat vile like this. Then God says, Don't ever say things that are coming from me from me are vile. At that same time, you are not continuing in the word of God. For the word of God is the word of liberating. Because Jesus Christ is the liberator. He says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the good news. And liberate those who are free but are captives. And bind whose hearts eh, whose hearts are broken. If you look at the television today, you will see the, the, the broken hearted. We find the grannies say we were staying here. Still in the late 350, waiting for the 350 did not come. We even slept here. We don't even have money to go back home. The hearts of the people are broken. People are starving. If you open your TV, you see people who are murdered for, for nothing. You will realize that the people in South Africa live in fear. In other words, people in South Africa, they are 